Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Harida. So guys, today we'll be making a body and face and body um, share butter. Yeah, face and body cream. We'll be using share butter. I'm using share butter because um, I want I want to make this lotion to be for face and body. As you know. Shea butter has no comedogenic rates. Um, if you want to make this just for body, I will advise to use um, shea butter and cocoa butter. Yes, because I, I have cocoa butter here, but I don't want to use it. It has um, high comedogenic rates, since, which since I want to use this lotion, this cream on my face. But I would have gone with um, shea butter and mango butter or cocoa butter. But I don't have that here now. I don't have any one. So I, want to, I just want to work with what I have. So here yeah, I have uh, shea butter, rose water, glycerin, rose hip oil, my vitamin E oil, my lavender essential oil. I have my waxes, my water here. And I have some actives here. So um, I'm going to list all these ingredients in the description box below. So guys, let me go ahead and measure, measure these ingredients out and we'll start the video proper. So guys, um, I'm back. We are done with all the ingredients. So as you can see, I have two scale here. Um, this one can measure from 0 0.5, 0 0.1 gram. This one cannot measure 0. Point something. That was why. That's why I have, the, I have the two scale here. So I'm just going to set the scales aside as I've measured out all the ingredients. So this is the water phase. I have uh, water and rose water here and a lantern. This is the oil phase. I have my e-wax, um, rose hip oil and hemp seed oil here. And I have kojic acid here. So I'm going to put this in the, I'm going to double boil these two right now. And when it's up to, I'll, I'll heat it up to 70 degrees Celsius. Then I'll bring it out and add the shea butter. I don't want to put the shea butter now because I don't want to kill the potent. You know, the shea, I'll just add it in when the oil is melted already. With the, if the oil is hot, it will quickly melt the shea butter instead of putting it inside and double boiling everything together you don't want to kill the potent of your shea butter so you put that aside so we'll go ahead and double boil this like i said earlier if you have mango butter you can add it to this mango butter cocoon butter you can add it to shea butter if you have at home or if you if you can i'm just making use of what i have at the moment so okay let's go ahead and double boil this and i will come back and introduce the rest ingredient to you guys so this bowl here i'll be this is the bowl i'll be using to mix them together i will turn them here so i'll be back let's go and double boil this oil and water face so guys this is the double boiling process you want to get your thermometer so to So you want to 45 the water is 45 and the oil is 56 so we'll have to wait until 75 degrees celsius you want to make sure you use the thermometer you don't want it to be too hot so guys um everything is, is melted now these are oil phase so I'm just quickly going to add in the shea butter. Thank you. 
add um, the rice inside this. So guys, everything is set now. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix both together with my stick blender. This is cleaned as well. You have to make sure you clean anything you're using. So guys you keep mixing and mixing until you want because you don't want them to separate you mix them very well until everything comes in together so you keep mixing it for about for the next 10 minutes so guys this is what we have here now so i'll just see blend it for a little while then i'll set it aside and leave it for 15 minutes to cool down so when it's cool down, we'll now come back and add our remaining ingredients. So as you can see, now it's still very much watery. Like the viscosity is still very light. So just let don't don't panic when you have something like this. Just let it cool down for 15 minutes to solidify. So guys. So guys, this is what we have now. Just want to show you guys the progress. Still hot, but it's solidifying gradually. It's solidifying gradually. So we'll just give it another five minutes and we'll come back and see. So guys, it's getting solidified. See, it's not going to be that thick, thick, thick like whipped body butter. So this is a mystified body butter. So it's getting solidified. So at this point now, I will just weigh out my cool down ingredients and add it and I will still blend it for the last time to mix all the ingredients I will be adding now very well, to incorporate all the ingredients very well. So now I will, be, I will set this aside and mix. So guys, this is our final result. As you can see, it's the viscosity is very okay now. It's loose. I like it this way. If you want it to be very loose, that you can pour in a bottle, like a plump bottle, you have to increase your water. So the way the way it is now, I like it how it is now. As you can see. Like ice cream. <laughs> Be careful not to do this. Where children are, 
You will just say, Mommy, did you make ice cream? <laughs> so this is what we have. This is our brightening sheer butter cream. Brightening sheer butter cream. So guys, if you've watched up to this point, please don't forget to subscribe. Please support the channel. Subscribe, turn on the bell icon to get notified each time I post a new video. So I'll be dropping all the ingredient list in the description box below. This is a 250 gram share but brightening share butter cream. So you can use this for your face and body. As you know, we only use the share butter in this. And we use everything that we use there will make sure it has low comedogenic rates. So you can use this on your face and body. See the viscosity? I love it. I love it. So now we'll be transferring it into this jar. It's clean and sanitized. Okay, let's see how it feels on the skin. See that? goes in pretty well wow long greasy i love this i prefer this to the whipped sheer body butter i prefer this to the whipped sheer body butter So guys, we'll be trying this. Let me know in the comment section. So let's go ahead and transfer it into this jar. I've cleaned and sanitized this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll, I'll see you in my next video.